Okay, so here we have an excellent example of an average gradient problem. They give us gx, which is 8x squared, and they tell us to determine the average gradient of g between the points on the graph where x1 is equal to negative 2 and x2 is equal to 4. Now, you don't have to go and do this. I'm just doing this to illustrate to you. I'm going to draw the graph will look something like this okay okay well probably not even close but that's my attempt and there is x equal to 2 okay and there that's that point and uh, negative 2 I mean and negative uh, positive 4 would be somewhere here which eventually would be a point there and the average gradient again is the gradient of the straight line connecting those two points okay so let's go and calculate that average gradient formula is in this case we're working with G so we have GX2 minus GX1 divided by X2 minus X1 okay GX2 means we have to substitute 4 into that equation so we get 8 times 16 squared no I lie 8 times 4 squared that's 16 I apologize uh, 4 squared minus and then negative 2 in there 8 times negative 2 squared divided by 4 minus negative 2 okay so what is 8 times 16? Well, I suppose easier would be 8 times 16 can be 8 times 2. It gives me 64 times 2 is 128. So it's 128 minus 8 times, this would be 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Okay, divided by 4 minus minus becomes plus 6. So here we get 128 minus that's 96, I think. Okay, divided by 6. How many times does 96 go into 96? Well, it goes into the 9 uh, once, into 3 remains, into 36, 6 times. 16. Okay, so the average gradient between those two points is 16 you can see it's a positive number which means that it must be upwards what it means is that for every one step forward we are going 16 steps upwards okay in other words the ratio between opposite and adjacent of this triangle is equal to 16 that is very 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 steep okay so but that's the question that's the answer uh, see you in the next video